so happened that uh, Lino Broca, uh, it's together with Susan Roses and uh, Philip Salvador, uh, was, was filming uh, a horror movie entitled Maruja, Gumising Kamaruja, in Bacolod. Mm -hmm. And I guess it was Gilaga who recommended us. So my first film was Gumising Kamaroha with Lino Broca. I'm proud of that. I can ask it. My first film is, was with Lino Broca. And the great cinematographer, Carding Baltasar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My title was A Prop Man. Mm -hmm. And we ended up working with uh, a number of films of Ishmael Bernal. Uh, so I was a prop man in in four films of of, of uh, Ishmael Bernal, uh, Pabling, uh, Ito bang ating mga anak, Believe It Boys, where, where I also acted as one of the inmates, and then. My last project with Bernal was uh, Manila by Night or City After Dark, the toughest, toughest uh, production uh, that we did because we have to work in the evening. We, our work starts in the evening. Uh, in fact, if I may say, it's not a product, kind of, but we had boxes of Lipovitan time to, to go you know, make us uh, survive the, the shoots no and it was film this are I'm talking about film this is not digital and it's uh, it's a different texture altogether yeah. and uh, of course we were it, uh, cinematographer uh, Sergio Lobo was, uh, yeah and um, seems like you know uh, the whole street, he will light it because that's the Bernal ones. And, you know, it's just a walk of Sherry Hill and uh, and uh, Rio Loxin because Rio Loxin was blind mm -hmm. and Sherry was guiding. And there's supposed to be uh, Sherry was tomboy. And uh, anyway, and we we would wet the street. You know, it's not raining. We would wet the street. And it's, wow, what a shot! You know. And then one of the difficult things I had to do was um, uh, the requirement. As a prop man, uh, let me give a short uh, description of uh, a prop man. Yeah, um, in a film production, there is a uh, production designer that is Peggy Galiaga. That's that's uh, our department is production designer. Um, um, the production designer conceptualizes. Uh, together with the director and the script, of course, what kind of look, mm -hmm. texture, uh, etc. Uh, that the films will be needing. And once that is all approved, etc., that will be passed on to an art director. Mm -hmm. And then the art director will sort of provide this and the prop man and the set man will uh, uh, execute this in the set. That's where I belong. Executing it, like uh, there's a setup of um, a restaurant, I have to make sure that uh, there are you know, the tables and the chairs, uh, glasses, food, etc. Uh, you prepare that, you know. It, after that, it will just be approved by the um, art director and the process designer. It's, it's kind of tough. I mean, if you really want to look, uh, look into it, and um, one of the toughest things that I, I did in um, City After Dark was to bring in a... Um, to, uh, we were supposed to recreate, I don't know if you remember, people should watch this film because there is a scene there where um, I think it was Orestes Ojeda and um, Alma Moreno and they were fighting and they mayroong mayroong banggaan sa kali and I think it is uh, F.B. Harrison and uh, Elsa. But that's just a background, banggaan. And what I have to do is to bring in a wreck car, and I was able to get it in Quezon City, and put it there and make it look like that whole car was wrecked in that kind of, 
and it's just a background. That's why that film is something else. You know, so it's a tough uh, job. And then Bernal um, is very gay. You know, um, he I I cannot forget his T-shirt that the, even the crew we uh, would wear. It says Pahipo. <laughs> it's in. Uh, it's a it's a white T-shirt with a. I think it's even blueprint Pahipo. <laughs> you know, he's really a funny guy. But it's it's just it's a, that's him. It's a it's, it's a character of Bernal. And uh, Sergio Lobo, who is his uh, cinematographer, was uh, a bit age uh, guy, but he's also funny. Well, you know, he Sergio Lobo is uh, trying to trying to frame the camera, the set, and all that, and he's on a, standing on a higher um, uh, apple box or something. Bernard would come and touch his balls. <laughs> It's, that's their game. That's it. And of course, Bernal. Um, what, I, what I remember about him is the energy and his creativity. Spontaneous. It's amazing. It's, just, it's like the guy doesn't sleep. There's always something happening. And he's speedy. And of course, there are scenes where I remember where Sherry Hill arrived late and he throws a uh, torch. <laughs> you late. I don't know. So that's Bernal. And um, actually, I'm scared working with him. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, my provincial culture, my naive uh, attitude towards these things in those times were. I'm always shying away from him. And he would always ask, why are you not talking? <laughs> <laughs> I just do my job. That's Bernard. Uh, well, we were also in Bambang, at, uh, Misericordia. These are depressed areas, uh, you know. Uh, actually, well, at that time it's not that... Um, now it's worse. Now it's worse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's insane. Uh, yeah. But um, it's it's it, it's hard, like Luneta, because it's a big space that uh, we have to cover. It was hard, also, you know. Um, we you don't have to do anything, but there are requirements that uh, Galiaga he like he had Sinuel uh, Año uh, Nuevo mm -hmm. was uh, we have to dress him up in a heart crossings is mm -hmm. very artistic um, concepts of that things. Yeah. Um, go, and then uh, you go in, in the scenes where William Martinez and um, Bernardo Bernardo, may he rest in peace, uh, doing a love scene inside the room, you know, and, um, what do I know about you know this uh, whole thing? You know, so I just follow instructions of what to prepare, etc., etc. You know. That was shot in uh, Malate in the former Penguin on top, a uh, uh, fashion designer's house it was shot there. Yeah. Uh, I heard that uh, Bernard did not work with a script for this movie. I was not so aware about these things because my concern was just... So, did you know what you were going to set up? I, I, I don't deal with him, it's Pecky who de uh, deals with him, so... Uh, because uh, we, we were all staying in one compound before, so it's uh, what Galiaga would uh, discuss regarding mm -hmm. these things, so it's what we do. Mm -hmm. It was always, always fun, uh, the way I see it, the way I see them. Um, he would always be playing around with uh, everybody, but he's very strict with the, um, once the uh, camera starts, uh, we're setting up and all of that, and you know, it's um, the discipline, um, I, I cannot really, I only remember scenes that um, very uh, focused on acting, Bernard, yeah. Uh, 
he he knows what he wants with the, each scenes that we do. Uh, the one I'm, I'm the one that's registering in my mind now is um, a movie titled Girlfriend. I think it was with Sherry, yeah. uh, Matranillo, Altantai, you know, all these things. And uh, yeah, Regina. I can't remember them, uh -huh. but um, this one we were shooting in Barranca, Marikina. Mm -hmm. uh, wow, it's almost like the way I, 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 I'm brought to this, it's like it's black and white already. <laughs> it's been how many years was that, man? <laughs> I will be 62 soon, and that, that was just maybe in my uh, mid-20s uh -huh. uh, when I was experiencing this. And um, we would pick him up uh, sometimes to go to the set. Bernard, we would pick him up and um, uh, it's a, I, that those, those scenes I remember. But but you did a lot of you did four movies with with uh, yeah. Bernard. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In fact, I also uh, one 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 thing I remember about uh, my. The closest encounter I have with Bernal's, because I had the concept of an uh, exhibition. Uh, I, I took photos of um, people and I let them wear um, plastic fangs mm -hmm. during Halloween and input it. And then, uh, so I, 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 I have taken a few already personalities with it. Actually, it won in an uh, exhibition in China, but I never saw that work again. So I had him, mm. and I was, of course, uh, Bern, uh, kang, ano, yeah. irony, what's this? Was, okay, okay, let's, let's, but you know, I think it was a wrong timing for me to ask him, because we were in the set, and we are about to work. So, oh, okay, what, what, what? Uh, uh, Bern, can you wear this? What's that? It's, it's a plastic, uh, no, 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 I don't like, Irony, next time, next time. Wala akong Bernal siya. Yeah. But he directed you in uh, Billy Big Boys. Yeah, he did. Uh, but, yeah. Um, yeah. And the scene, we, we did well. But the scene where I was supposed to uh, be transferred to, uh, from, from the city jail to Munting Lupa, the climax of my scene where I have to cry mm -hmm. and I as, as an actor young at that I don't my process is still fresh I don't know yet how to go through about it and uh, Leopoldo Salcedo was the one you know was beside me to mm -hmm. uh, it's okay you'll be fine and it was just perfect that day that we because John Lennon passed away so I felt okay I think I had my in, my inspiration here. I can really cry here, you know. Yeah. It got packed up. I so it has to be shot the next day. I don't feel any more the job. I run in, come on, run in, come on, go, let's go. I yell on them. But anyway. But you were here in one, in one scene with your photos I said. Oh, yeah, I have a wow. quick one. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, I had a scene in uh, my, my, my working relationship with Bernal were, were always uh, uh, disastrous. I have, I have a scene in uh, City After Dark. I was uh, with a guitar, you know, I was playing and the, um, the camera passes and oh, shoots me. I was saying, uh, the day that we have to dub it, I can't seem to get it. So they have to edit it out. So I wasn't there anymore. <laughs> but I like my title. I became my last uh, production work with Bernal. The title was Art Director. Okay. In City After Dark, I'm already Art Director. Yeah, I saw that. There you go. In the credits. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah. <laughs> so all of this was before Oro, correct? Yeah, yeah, before Oro. So before Oro, you were already acting a bit. Uh, well, my, 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 my initial uh, Art, encounter yeah. with, uh, with acting was theater, of course, in La Salle. Yes, yes, yes. That blows my mind, you know. Uh, this is what I, my, my heart <coughs> was looking. 
answers to all the questions in your mind. Tell us about the broker. <coughs> how did you get the role and, and how did you feel? Did you know broker at that time? No. Um, I, they, I know him as, uh, you know, I mean, uh, Manila by night. Ah, no, no. Manila. Uh, Manila sa Coco ng Liwanag. That was a big... Um, yeah. Okay. And they're big. Uh, and then Philip Salvador. They're big, you know. Uh, of course, Susan Roses. Who's, who's from Negros, no? Yes. Uh, so, um, but Broca was big uh, at that time, really. I mean, and then to be part of it alone is, wow. Yeah. Uh, something. Um, that I just had the simple... Um, I was able to deliver it. I had a scene with Mario O'Hara, the great Mario O'Hara. Um, yeah, it was um, initial wonderful experience mm-hmm. to be part, and I'm proud to say that it's always my first film was with Lino Broca, mm-hmm. my first and last. <laughs> um, somehow it's I. I don't know what, how to describe it, but it's destiny that I know in my heart I want to be something like this. I don't know if this is if as an actor, or, but I cannot be in an office. That's what I want. Um, I did, I did, uh, I, I got the job in, in as a field. Uh, uh, something in, in National Grains Authority, hindi pa siya NFA or something. Mm-hmm. But I was doing a play in La Salle. I only did it one day. I, I, I quit my job right away. I, because I found acting as my, as the, my, the answer to all the questions in my mind. Mm-hmm. To all my confusion, my, confus- my confusions about life, my wonderment, if, if you if you say that your first movie was with uh, Lino Broca, mm. and then you work as a uh, art dep for Bernal, yes, then it, it, your first experiences in Philippine cinema was with Broca, time. Broca and Bernal. Thanks to Peke Galiaga, yeah, because uh, they're friends. These guys are, yeah. uh-huh. and um, and uh, Peke also was a. Um, Changed the, 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 the game with the production design uh-huh. uh, when we started uh, entering into this industry. Uh, in fact, that's many are following that uh, s- same kind of attitude and discipline. Mm-hmm. You know, the Ilongos, uh, especially. Mm-hmm. Uh, until Oro Plata Mata came, they've been widened uh, the scope of uh, Gallagher's uh, style of uh, work. In, in, in City After Dark, I, it's very noticeable that there would be uh, the times of the year that would be seen through the design. There, there is Valentine's, mm. and there would be a scene that's yes. Christmas. Mm. There is a scene that there's Santa Cruz, and you know, so you, know, you see the passage of uh, the years through design, basically. Yeah, that's that's the they're, they're creative minds working. We are just the laborers of their <laughs> creative minds, so that's how it does. Yeah, and, and uh, so the third director that you worked with after Broca and Bernal would be Galiaga. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. wow, what? Uh, Actually, I'm quite lucky with the um, directors because after that I uh, worked with um, Oro. Uh, I mean Abu de la Cruz. Then Tico Yagilos, of mm-hmm. course, mm-hmm. Boatman, mm-hmm. uh, Tapis, and then well, Raymond Red for Anino. Yeah. Yeah. Where you won. Yeah, with Pam de Or. Yeah. Oh, oh, and the Pam de Or. But you won an Orian. My, no, my, my Orian was, uh, of course, Richard Somes, my first, after 27 years, yeah. Yangao. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Let's go back to the time of uh, of Oro, of uh, Boatman, or of even Manila by then. Oh, was wow. like the eighties, yeah, and the early eighties. Oh, uh, golden and years. Part of that, how how did that feel during the time that 
uh, was it suddenly a relaxation of the government of all of these films uh, that were allowed to be made? And was it exciting time? How was it like? Actually, I was a zombie. I don't know what's happening really. I mean, my only, my, my very much, my. I was a zombie because I don't know what's happening, you know. I was yanked out from the province to the city, mm-hmm. and the city is wild, you know. It's like, oh, okay. Um, I was figuring out a lot of things. I was in a, in a very difficult um, situation about my, my life and the crossroads of uh, many. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, Eric, to go back to these times, yeah, it was pretty exciting moments. I mean, Celso Ad Castillo was doing, you know, very fantastic work. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. And you were Showbiz out. was, the industry was hot, you know. And I, I saw it, I saw it in its hottest time, golden years, you know, wow, great films. Yeah. Until yeah. I saw it also crumble. And I, when I saw it crumbling, I said, I want to invest in the young filmmakers that Raymond Red. Uh-huh. And I saw the uh, advent, the, the coming of um, digital. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I invested in those things. And you're also very much a part of that. Very much. Uh, that, uh, yeah, independent cinemas, independent actors. Uh-huh. And I was doing works from uh, of students from La Salle to Teneo to UP, Libre, because I want to make them grow to to be part of it. The, uh, my, my, I'm a little. Uh, it's it, this is another story, but it's all about Bernal and the uh, uh, and the uh, Broca, yeah. And Broca and Bernal were very uh, um, socially aware about what's happening and those are the dark times of uh, the Marcos seers mm-hmm. and they would have in their films um isisingit nila yon yung uh, social uh, commentaries that will say about you know what's happening to the Philippines they would put that what they're, they're activists artist activists mm-hmm. why not yeah, I mean, as if it's part of you to not to be not to, to to look the other way I mean you know you see it and you want to do something about it you want to change if you can be of change why not so they are doing that they did broke I even went to Congress mm-hmm. that extreme he went to, to, to Congress to buy that's why um, uh, what is this um, artist rights uh, no there is Concerned artists. Uh, concerned artists was born because of that. Uh-huh. Rallies, strong, yeah. Uh, it's not, uh, it's not a put on. They are socially aware of it, and they they don't like what's happening during these times. So they are, uh, they in in their little, small big ways, they they are consistent with it. They put something there in their work. So. These uh, people should be researched and find out, you know, yeah, what are their, uh, particularly on, 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 on what they think, on what they say uh, during those times, because it's still martial law times, you know. Yeah. Um, what, what they did was actually... Uh, against the government at the time and uh, Manila by night uh, became like a social commentary yeah controversial but in the beginning it, I, it, that's why I think uh, Imelda changed the title not to put Manila by night yeah. but put city after dark yeah. because they don't want Manila by night as you know the world will see as uh, slums dirty uh, decadence which is what that is a commentary of, uh, which is what's happening actually. Mm-hmm. It's always you know, the forefront that they want to say that you know, life is art is beautiful, you know. <laughs> That's, uh, that was the line before, right? Yeah. Uh, 
were you aware when you were <coughs> doing work for the film that it was going to become a classic? No. Um, it was, I, mean, I told you I was a zombie. <laughs> I, I had my... I had my... How do you say? Um, I got my reality back a little later on. <laughs> it's um, complicated. <laughs> I think yeah, 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 yeah. It's like it's like heroes, you know. We're finding out our heroes in 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 movies like uh, General Luna, uh, Goyo. So we go back to them. We 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 paint them as they should be painted. You know, we should look into them. And and now I think because. The industry in the past is all, well, now it's silly because it's a business. People like chismis and um, you know, all these uh, fancy things. But as an artist, I think they should be looked into as artists. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, and they're not just ordinary filmmakers. They have social awareness part of them. Mm -hmm. you know, they do their work thinking about also the country, the state of the nation. They would do love story, but they they inject something there in the screenplays. You you watch. They they, they have their uh, so. <coughs> me. It's. I think it's innate in them that they are activists, um, and artists. Uh, there's no what comes first. I think it's both of that. That's a marriage of their personalities, Broca and uh, Bernard. And uh, do you agree that artists should use their art to, you know, say something about society? It should. You. Uh, I mean, if you are, you reflect. Yeah, uh, uh, art that uh, imitates life. What? So. You, you get your inspiration, you get your, um, you know, from, your, from reaction, from what's happening. So it, it's a trigger. Uh, it's not like it's a requirement, but um, if you're aware about what's happening, you, if you can recreate that, and then you are making use of your craft to... Uh, to show truth and enlightenment to those who don't see or refuse to see. <laughs> you said that uh, Misericordia now is worse than what it was before. Man, you know, it's crazy. You watch old films and it's the same problem we are facing. It's the same beep problem that we're facing. Come on. I'm tired, man. You know. I'm tired because that is already personal and all that. Uh, well, we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. You know what you mean? Yeah. 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 We'll see what we can do. Right away, it's Manila, no? Mm -hmm. oh. um, Angela Mercado. Mm -hmm. um, Well, um, because I'm there, I put uh, Marua. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but he has, he has uh, other. Uh, but what I learned from because um, the the partnership between him and the uh, Cardin Baltasar, I'm I'm able to make a film, realizing that yeah, I mean, I am a, a film a director. I have my concept. And I have to have a very good cinematographer mm -hmm. because the cinematographer will just, of course, recreate the, the concept that I have. Mm -hmm. So, I am, I, my film is inspired by the partnership of Lino and uh, Carding. But Lino also 
directed you somehow? Of course, of course, you'll be directed. But um, I'm scared with these people. I'm scared, <laughs> you know. I'm, uh, yeah. You know, it's it's almost like I'll call them. Sir. <laughs> um, you you came straight from college. Yeah. Into to Manila. Yeah, yeah. Right. And then you, you're studying I, I just gave my parents my diploma, commerce, accounting, major, graduate. <laughs> and then you went to Manila, and then... Uh, Work my ass as a prop man. Uh, with with uh, Peke's group. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So you were, I think you were batch one with Peke. We were, oh, yeah. We were batch two. Camini uh, Jimenez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been working a foreign film in uh, Batangas. An offshoot of Joe's. This one, Up From the Depths. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that time also, yeah. in the 80s, with a lot of uh, co-prods. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, yeah, Apocalypse was, uh, was, was just finished at the time. Uh, but fantastic, uh, but when we had our crime up, there goes the foreign investors for films stop coming already or the kidnappings and all that. Um, do you have favorite uh, Bernal movies? Um, I, I, his humor is, is something else, you know, I mean, um, that, I, I, cause I did Pabling, as production design, one of the most underrated. I mean, as a yeah, as a as a as a prop man. But I saw in archives uh, screening, I was already my title was art director. I said, huh, prop man? Oh. Now that that scene where the traffic was, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where the passenger, uh, I think it was, uh, yeah, William and uh, Marcel holding a plant, a small plant. Next shot, the plant was b getting bigger and bigger and bigger because of the traffic. And it's the same thing. We had the same problem. And that was what? Early 80s. Yeah. What? Yeah. What? <laughs> we did not move. We did not even move an inch. It's even got What's it. happening to us? What's happening to us? Yeah, but it's, I don't want to call it great, but it's interesting when you watch these old films from 30 years, 40 years uh, ago, uh, films of Broca and Bernal saying uh, something about society. Yes. And what they're saying is still, is it the, same? It's still the same. Yeah. It's still the same. If, if you look at, the, if, if we have the time, we look at, the, we watch, see, it's the same thing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The trouble about salaries, you know. Of, uh, of people working and yeah, that's the construction yeah, construction, yeah, it's yeah. yeah. and oh boy, right? <laughs> if uh, Bernal was alive today, what do you think he will say? A lot, I think, well, a lot, a lot, a lot. He's, 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 going to, he's going to find a way to make a film that will speak all of these things, yeah. You're not gonna stop him. As well as Broca. As well as Broca. Yeah. yeah. It's, and somehow, well, it's nice that, uh, well, I don't know how the, the statistics and all that, because they get their producers, you know. Uh -huh. there's, now there's so many directors, but, although there's a lot of producers also, because it's not that expensive as uh, it should be for, to make a film now, but. I think everybody can now with uh, with cell phones you can make a story. Yeah. Make your statement, you know, make your statement. And everybody can make a statement. True. Now True. you don't have to wait for I mean if you want to say something, make a story, send it you know artistic way. But yeah. yeah. I invested in the young filmmakers like Raymond Red at that time. Yeah. The Red Brothers, John yeah. Red, yeah. And the uh, students of uh, La Salle, Teneo, UP. Now I see them, they're already um, uh, regular filmmakers. And I'm, I'm glad to be part of their early, uh, their uh, initial uh, 
Do you see uh, the next Broca or Bernal somewhere there? No, I don't think we should have these things um, because like um, I don't want to mention names, but uh, there are, I am, uh, he's the next. Or the, no, there should, you are an individual. You mm-hmm. create your own. Mm-hmm. Now, people will, will, will tell you that and that depends. To me, there, there is no comparison. You cannot uh, compare uh, mm-hmm. because they, what they were, they they re- because Broca and Bernal, you can they, they have a different kind of approach, mm-hmm. but they, both of them are on top. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, to me, there's it's a different texture. It's a different uh, color now this time, but. Anybody can be a broker and a Bernal. Yeah. But, um, mm, now, I don't know. Um, I think those guys have more balls than the <laughs> filmmakers now. The situation is the same. That's <laughs> what we said. So, uh, where are the next brokers and Bernal to say something about what's the It died with them. So, um, there has to be... Maybe there can be another. Maybe there's there. Uh, it's I don't know. It's I, I, I'm always finding myself in a blank wall, ending up in a. I have no more question. I have no more answers. I have no more answers. I cannot anymore. Were they braver? That's what I said. They have more balls than uh, these people now. You know. So, but the, it's also the the times are different. Um, we are all more on what quantities rather than qualities. I mean, I'd like to salute Articulo Uno Production for still standing up there. You know. Mm-hmm. Putting where their ma- their, 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 ma- their mouth is is that what the hell do you say mm-hmm. yeah. so um, really quality show quality films mm-hmm. and really of value and truthful you know uh, history they have balls mm-hmm. to say that I mean because those are issues that people don't want to talk about put it in the in in, in front mm-hmm. but they did they put it in front and it's Something to talk about. It's fine. Why are we? We cannot be. We're so stupid. We have been stupid for a long time. I, you know, I woke up with the history that only the, when the Spaniards came. Uh-huh. <laughs> what? That's my. That's my upbringing. Yeah, that's how we were taught. Yeah. Wait a minute. I realized later on in life we're more than just when the Spaniards came. Yeah. So how can you imagine how stunt our minds are? Do you think the audience has changed since Broca and Bernard? I think, yeah, there is a uh, very good um, educated, uh, but still, we have to grow. They, they're not that much. They have to grow. Um, the challenge is, is, is on the filmmakers now. You know, so exciting times mm-hmm. for filmmakers mm-hmm. um, because at least we have already de- we have deviated from star. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, star. Um, how do you say vehicles? Uh, be- yeah, uh, yeah. So because that's where the industry failed. It died down because. Even the Dolphy and the Sharon Cunetas at that time were not anymore making money. People are just bored. Even the simple taxi drivers say, I don't watch it because I know already what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the, the, the people have, have um, people change. Have, the, uh, the audience have been educated. But the, 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 the films that we do, Never. It stayed on the same level. It's just... So it was bad. But now we have... The audience were coming back now. Slowly coming back. Yeah. Because they shied away. They don't want to watch local films. Mm-hmm. But 
we have films, the Rawan, Goyo, these are really nice quality, you know. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, films of Blab Diaz, you know, something, it's, uh, it's, yeah. So, we should do that, we should do that. What do I say of this? Gawa lang ng gawa. You know, uh, like, uh, speak your, your mind, uh, speak your truth, um, have fun doing it, uh, don't just do it for money, but I'm not saying do it for money because I'd like, I'd like our works to make money so you can continue, mm -hmm. but do something to help lift our people to higher way of looking at things, thinking it, a little more. Maybe we can do that. If they don't, if, if they don't get it outside, maybe in our films they can be educated and give them perspective that is not in their usual. Uh, lives, then maybe we can be a better country later on, because we are still stupid, <laughs> and that self. includes me. I'm still stupid, because I'm a Filipino, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and we're still here. We're stuck here. Uh -huh. For filmmakers, get inspired. Um, there's a lot of inspiration, right? and there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of things to tell. The world will be listening to us will be watching us, mm -hmm. the, uh, the works of Raymond Red, Lab Diaz, mm -hmm. um, um, Dante Mendoza, all these who have uh, initiated the, the international scene, they want to see more of those. So go, there's a lot of space, come on. It's like, you know, like I said uh, earlier about history. Um, so you will know where you're coming from. Uh, at least you don't have to emulate them or to. But as part of your, as a filmmaker, it's part of your requirement or a necessity to look into the past of the, of the, the, the history of Philippine cinema. Uh, so. It is, it's education for you, you know, to educate yourself. So when you're out there, you know what you're talking about. You know. uh, nothing is new. Everything's been done already, really. <laughs> um, so it's good to find out about these guys because I'm pretty sure you will be inspired. You will be inspired. Uh, read through them. Uh, read through um, their their inspirations, their struggles. Read through them. So you will be inspired. You'll be stronger. You'll be challenged. And um, you. Hopefully you you leave something. Take what they did. Yeah. And uh, thanks to to you for bringing this up, so it doesn't die down. Like you're like Articolo Uno who who is bringing history, you know. Because if we don't, it's cliche, but if we don't look at the past, we'll never go to the future.